Hello everyone, this video has been in the making for almost 3 weeks. I was having some issues with OBS on Wayland, tried a couple of solutions and eventually I had to give up and go back to X server and make this video. In this one, I will talk about package management on Void Linux, which is very easy to the contrary that people may believe. The package manager, as we know, is xbps and we can type the letters for the hyphen and then pressing tab twice. This will give us all the available commands that one could use. Generally speaking, when it comes to system management as a daily user, three commands are enough. One of them is install, the other one is query, and the last one is remove. In some cases, user may need to run reconfigure if, for example, they run into issues with their configurations. Starting the discussion in a logical manner, let's say if we are going to search for a package, let's assume I am looking for Steam. So the way would be query and then the package name. It does not give me any output because I'm missing a few arguments or options. One of them is, in fact, let me show entire list. So as soon as we enter only the name of the command, it throws all the options available. Generally speaking, user will only need two options. One is minus a small s to search the package and the other one is minus R or basically minus capital R to search into repositories. So I'm going to search for Steam. Again, there is no output. Because S alone means the package has to be searched locally on the system which has been installed. So for example, I have LibreOffice installed to show me all the packages or libraries having the name LibreOffice. If I'm going to search for a package remotely which is available in the repositories, I'll have to use capital R followed by S which is for search. So in this case, package manager will search for the particular package in repositories. In this case, I do get an output and I can install the one I need. One other thing I also need to explain is the asterisk. Having an asterisk here basically means the package has been installed on the system. And if it is just a hyphen, it means it is not installed. So that's the use of query or search command with capital R to look for the package in repositories and S is the command to search. The other command we may need to use as an end user is install. So after searching for a particular package using query, let's say I'm looking for uh, image viewer which is not installed on my system at the moment, I'm going to search for the package. Oops. Okay, so this is important, glad it came up. So if you're going to use a string which has the spaces, it is advisable to use under the codes. And this gives us all the matching strings. In my case, I'm using KDE, so I prefer to use applications which are native to the desktop environment. And in this case, I know I'm looking for given a view. So I'll just copy the name. I will use xvps install to install the package on my system. But before that, let us look into details. We type the command and press enter without anything. This gives us all the available options. As usual, we do not need to use all of these options unless there is a particular need. In general, we need to use minus capital S 
to sync or update the repositories and then minus u or a small u to update those packages so for example if I'm going to update my system the command would be this in my case all the packages have been updated so there's nothing to do now if I'm going to install GreenView, I will only use basically I can just type xbps install and the package name it will install the package but I advise based on my experience with the previous dist uh, distribution it is better to synchronize and update the entire system because in some cases if the dependency has been updated it may create an issue so what I do is to update the system at the same time before I install the package in this case this will be my command that's it the third command we may need to use as an end user on a daily basis would be removing packages this one so we will just type remove and press enter to see all the available options from the whole list we generally need to type the command and then the package name so let's say I'm going to uninstall go and view and it will do the job but I just want to discuss the options in general out of the entire list I only want to discuss these two options which is capital O to clean the cache or basically the collection of obsolete or older versions of the packages and a small o to remove the orphans in Linux orphan files means the the files and the libraries which get installed explicitly as a part of a package that we install but upon the removal those files and libraries are not uninstalled from, for some reason so it is a good habit as a part of system management we periodically clean the orphans and the obsolete versions of packages however in some cases we may need to keep older versions of the packages because um, let's say we update the system and the newer version is causing an issue so we can always go back to the previous version and continue our task it would be very simple to use these options typical command followed by small o to remove orphans in my system I don't think I have anything orphan because I'm not using it much and similarly uh, I'm going to clean the cache from the older versions this would not be there as well I suppose yeah but in general these are the commands that we need to use void Linux as a daily driver install query and remove that's all for this video thanks for watching